Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. Linux Mint is one of the most used Linux distros out there, and for good reason, since it offers a very stable and user-friendly experience. The Mint team has released Linux Mint 19.2, codenamed Tina, with a bunch of improvements all around, so let's take a look at what's new. Under the hood. Nothing much has changed here. Mint 19.2 is an incremental upgrade, and still based on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. They don't plan to change that until 20.04, which will be the next LTS and the next base for Mint. Since Ubuntu 18.04 received the newer NVIDIA drivers in its updates repository, Mint also benefits from that, and thus offers much more up-to-date drivers than it used to. Apart from that, the kernel is still 4.15, and Mint 19.2 will receive updates until 2023, so don't worry about losing support. Look and feel. Cinnamon is now in version 4.2. While not much has changed visually, there are still a few improvements to how the distro looks. A whole new collection of wallpapers has been added to refresh the default backgrounds, and the Mint Y or Mint T theme has been tweaked a bit, generally darkening most of the various colors used in the header bars and title bars, the sidebars and the progress bars. This results in a more contrasted theme and better legibility, although you'd be hard pressed to notice it at first glance. These changes are also applied to GTK2 apps such as GIMP, where they should be more visible. More importantly, Mint now uses the Ubuntu fonts instead of the Noto fonts. This change is nice, I think, and I always like the rounded and legible fonts Ubuntu created for their own distro, so seeing them use elsewhere is always good. The desktop. This is where the main changes are. First, Cinnamon's memory consumption has been greatly reduced. The developers mention a reduction of about 30% in RAM usage. In my own tests, Mint Cinnamon, while idle, used less than 1GB of RAM out of my 8, but this will vary depending on the amount of RAM your computer has. There seems to be an improvement compared to the 1.2GB Mint used when I reviewed 19.1. Cinnamon in itself only used about 60MB of RAM, which is very low. The window manager now has reduced input lag, most noticeable when dragging windows around, and you can enable or disable vSync without restarting Cinnamon, as well as choose between various vSync methods. This is a pretty good feature I'd like other desktops to add as well. The default menu is now able to differentiate between duplicate applications. For example, if you install something through the repos and through Flatpak, both entries will now be correctly identified in the menu, so you know which one you're using. Finally, the scroll bars can now be configured, allowing you to overriding the theme's given width and change it to something that suits you better, and enabling or disabling overlay scroll bars. Applications Mint's apps have seen a few changes here and there. The file manager, Nemo, can now pin files and folders in a specific directory, so they now appear in bold and at the top of the list. This makes finding specific files a lot easier if you work with them regularly. Most apps now support the Ctrl plus Q and Ctrl plus W keyboard shortcuts to close a window or close the applications. XEd, the text editor, now supports quickly commenting blocks of code with Ctrl plus slash, which is going to be mainly useful for developers, and XReader now has a zoom selector that can be added to the toolbar. The main system tools are where the work has been focused though. First, you can now see how long each kernel is supported in the kernel manager, and you can queue the removal or installation of various kernels without having to wait for each task to complete. It will also show variants for a specific kernel, such as the real-time versions. Outdated and unused kernels can also be removed automatically in the preferences. Finally, the System Reports tool has been tweaked. Its layout is now more legible, and a new System Info page has been added, which should allow easier copy-pasting of this kind of information for bug reports and online help. A lot of other minor improvements have also been added to the system to make the experience of using the update manager a lot smoother. All in all, Mint 19.2 Cinnamon is an incremental improvement, but it's still a no-brainer if you're using Mint already. The file pinning feature in Nemo and the performance improvements alone are worth it, and the stability of the distro's base is still a big draw if you need a production machine that won't bother you with balked updates. Linux Mint also brought these updated apps and features to its Mate and XFC editions, which were updated at the same time as the Cinnamon one. So that's about it for this tour of Mint 19.2's new features. If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing and turning on notifications. 
If you really did like the video, I also have a Patreon page, I'll leave a link in the description of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!